Hi, uh, today we're looking at the developmental eye movement test. This is a great test of ocular motor skills that correlates very well to reading fluency. Um, so this is a great way for us to be able to tell if ocular motor issues are playing a role in a patient's um, in a, or a student's uh, reading fluency. So we start with the vertical test um, first, and we do two vertical tests and then a horizontal test. And uh, we're going to take a look at those. Here we go. The top number, and you're going to read straight down, come back up to the top, and go back down again. Okay. And I'm going to time you while you do that. All right. And I have my score sheet here to confirm your letters. Are, are you ready? I am. Am I trying to go as fast as I can? I want you to go fast, but I want you to be accurate. Okay. Accurate is, is, is as important as fast. Gotcha. Are you ready? I am. And go. Three seven five nine eight two five seven four six one four seven six three seven nine three nine two four five two one seven five three seven four eight seven four six five two nine two three six four. Very good. Test number two, test B, is going to be the same thing. Okay. I'm going to record your time, and you had no errors there. Right. Beautiful. So we're going to do the same thing here. We'll start at the top and go down, back up to the top and down again. Okay. And away we go. Six three two nine one seven four six five two five three seven four eight four five two one seven seven nine three nine two one four seven six three two five seven four six three seven five nine eight very good so next we're going to move on to the third test so this is usually the uh-oh test mm -hmm. where folks look at this and go uh-oh <laughs> So now, the numbers are very uh, irregularly placed horizontally. You're going to read one line across at a time. Okay. Are you ready? I am. And go. Three seven five nine eight two five seven four six one four seven six three seven nine three nine two four five two one seven five three seven four eight seven four six five two nine two three six four six three two nine one seven four six five two five three seven four eight four five two one seven seven nine three nine two one four seven six three two five seven four six three seven five nine eight okay so when the test is a quote normal or age appropriate mm -hmm. what we should get is the sum of the vertical numbers should equal the horizontal time oh. and we can see on her assessment she was 15 seconds on test a 14 seconds on test b and 29 seconds on the horizontal. We could also listen to the cadence as you're reading that, and you can hear that the tempo was the same on both one on, on both of those trials, whether they were vertical or horizontal. Mm -hmm. In kids that have problems with the horizontal part or that are going to have an issue with that ratio, you're going to hear that cadence slow down. Okay. And when they start to read the horizontal part, it's going to become much slower and they're going to have a whole lot more errors, but yours is perfect right by the numbers. So that's what a normal DEM, an age-appropriate DEM, is going to look like. But our kids are not going to do as well as that uh, level 1 OT student did on the DEM. In, for our kids, as they start that horizontal test, we're going to hear that cadence, that tempo as they read those horizontal uh, numbers is going to become much slower and they're going to skip numbers. They're going to be reading from different lines at the same time. It can really become a mess for kids that are having a lot of saccade and ocular motor problems. So as they're reading those numbers, I tend to make, I'll make a plus sign Anytime they are reading an extra letter, I put minus signs when they are skipping over a letter. 
but if there's a whole lot of errors, I just start making hash marks and just tracking all of the errors. That's one of the things in the manual that's also there to, um, to help tell you was this is an age-appropriate number of errors. So um, we then use the formula that's in the manual to correct our time based on those omissions and additions. And we, we're going to um, complete that formula and then multiply the result of that formula by the horizontal time to get an adjusted time. We'll then use that adjusted time and we'll divide that by the sum of the vertical signs to get that age appropriate, uh, that ratio of the vertical to the horizontal. Um, that ratio is going to tell us if there's an issue in the uh, ocular motor portion of, of the ocular motor skills involved in completing that test. So when the, when the ratio is out of range for that age for that child, it's going to indicate that there is an ocular motor problem affecting their performance. Um, the other possibilities are things such as um, if a child has a speech problem or if a child has a processing problem or they don't know numbers that well. So you may see where the, the vertical test is very low in the 20th percentile and the horizontal test is also in that 20th percentile. And when we do the ratio, we find out that the ratio is at an age appropriate level. So that's going to tell us that there's something else, not an ocular motor problem, that's causing them to be slow at that. And the manual covers all of these things in, in detail, and you can read over those in the manual.